Chicago is a really exciting place to brew, to make, to serve coffee. There's so many people doing it in a really incredible way. And there's so many people who are very inspiring and the community is very supportive and works together and engages together. And we as a shop at Everybody's Coffee are so thankful and so thrilled to be able to be a part of that community, be able to learn from it, be able to be inspired by it, be able to give to it. We wanted to take a minute to show you some of our favorite folks who are brewing and making and serving and sourcing coffee in Chicago, give you an opportunity to meet them, be inspired by them and learn what they're doing and why they're doing it. Definitely what gets me up in the morning is a good cup of coffee. I mean, that's my motivation. Um, I, I know it sounds kind of cheesy to say that I literally cannot do anything without my first cup of coffee, but it's so true. Across the board, uh, nationwide and into other, other parts of the world, uh, special coffee, specialty coffee, third wave coffee, fourth wave, whatever you want to call it, is, is growing um, tremendously. Especially coffee more approachable to everybody because we feel that it's important that people learn about it and know about it and, and, and aren't afraid of it. Our mission at Passion House is to elevate coffee, in the community, and ourselves, the individual. Bridge is the world. Uh, it, it's you know something that, that many people uh, participate in economically, um, and I think that if you give a shit about people, you should give a shit about great coffee because great coffee has the power to um, elevate the human experience, uh, to create real opportunities for people around the world, uh, and to make a, a meaningful difference in people's lives. We like to respect every stage and what this coffee went through, the processors, the importers, the pickers, the farmers, all of that. And we want to pass that along to our customers here in the Wormhole uh, by making sure that we serve the best coffee possible in the best ways. Uh, we also want to be able to talk about our coffee and tell a little bit about it. So when you do ask questions, we have those. We know the co-op, we know the farm, and we can tell you how long this coffee take to get here, or how long, how many days off roast is it? Why do we do this many days off roast? What best gives you a coffee experience that represents every chain and every person that it took to get you this coffee. I started uh, my first coffee company, Coffee Ambassadors, out of, a, as a, out of a desire to connect with developing nations and bring, bring uh, social justice to the picture in something that we were treating like a commodity and make sure that um, producers, coffee farmers in developing nations were adequately compensated for all the hard work they're putting into their product. We are fortunate to be in a city that is known for really good coffee. I don't think that uh, coffee should be hoarded knowledge, it should be given, it should be put out there, and people should learn it. Because the more people that do it well, the better it is for everyone. So uh, that's what I say. I mean, I think that we should all benefit from learning coffee. And I originally fell in love with the community. And so when I first started, it wasn't as much about the coffee as it was the, the community. I personally fell in love with just the cozy community, the atmosphere, having this neighborhood hub. Uh, and so that was a big deal to me. And I love the idea of having a, a cafe in each neighborhood. And you know, back in the day before Boat Trust, I used to open up a lot, a lot of independent cafes, you know, Dollop, Kickstand, Noble Tree, Chase, Don's. And I never had the same name, and you know, because I love the independent shop. There's something special about independent coffee. It, it benefits the, the directly the community that it's in. It provides a unique experience. Each shop is different, um, and and uh, it's you know it's a beautiful thing when it works. We are friends with everyone, and we don't want to be divided by our shop. There is no idea of this coffee shop's amazing because this roaster's amazing, or this coffee shop's not good because they use this roaster. I want to pull everyone to the same level. So even if you're not a third wave shop, you can still benefit from coming to New Gotham events. It should not be exclusive. It should be inclusive and make everyone comfortable and part of a community. I love that. I love just pulling everything together in a community and realizing that maybe you don't have to waste. Maybe you don't have to be just a consumer-driven entity. You know, you can support recycling, you can support compost, you can just support this fluid motion of keeping the world going. That is really what we want. 
And when we put a beautiful rosetta or heart or tulip on a, on a latte, um, people will take pictures and share them on Instagram and all of a sudden that's, that's a wave. Where, and so uh, together we can ride that wave and, and uh, draw more attention to what's special about coffee. Don't just follow the trend. Don't, don't be a trend follower because you'll just blend in and, no, and you won't have any identity on your own. Um, set your own trend, be your own, set your own path. Uh, and, and define your own company in, in, with the uh, values that make sense to you, and then make your decisions based on those values. What we've uh, collectively come together to say, there's a, there's a, this is a craft industry, and uh, this isn't commodity, this isn't, uh, this isn't uh, uh, fast food, this is slow food uh, coffee. And, uh, and so they're, they're recognizing that, and when we come together as a bunch of independent shops, um, uh, with one voice, uh, we, we have a louder voice that says, pay attention to these things, like origin, and like uh, cupping, like uh, um, everything that has to deal with body, like latte art throwdowns, where the community, you know, uh, among baristas is, is um, promoted and and uh, and again where, where other shops are sending their baristas to this just just to have fun that's what I enjoy about coffee that, that there's so much volatility but it's still you know such a beautiful thing as you can see there are a lot of people in Chicago who really care about coffee they really care about where the coffee comes from they care about how they make the coffee they care about how they roast the coffee and getting the coffee into the hands of the people to enjoy it and to engage in that whole process. It's a whole thing and we love being a part of that. And at Everybody's, we're so thankful and so appreciative to be able to be a part of that whole process so that we can work with those folks who really care about it as well in combination to be able to do our part to brew that coffee in an incredible way and to bring it to you so that you can enjoy that whole process and appreciate all the hands and all the folks who have been a part of it. So thank you for doing that, and thank you for everybody who's had a part in it.